The first question that a new guinea pig owner should ask themselves is, do you or does anybody in the family have allergies to guinea pigs or hay? It's a fact that guinea pigs are good emotional support pets and they bring you lots of joys and happiness. Most people have fewer allergic reactions to guinea pigs than dogs or cats, but it's always possible. The best way to see if you have allergic reaction to guinea pigs is to ask a doctor to do an allergy test. You can also ask a friend who owns guinea pigs to try to pet one for a couple of minutes. You can even visit a rescue shelter and before adopting one, they will certainly allow you to hold one in your arms. The other thing that we can be allergic to is hay. Hay is essential for guinea pigs' health and it's about 80% of their diet. This is crucial to maintain their digestive system and wear down their ever-growing teeth. I personally have some allergic reaction to Timothy hay, especially when it is very dry and dusty. Therefore, we have switched to meadow grass and I'm feeling much better. If your guinea pigs or their hay make you feel sick, it's going to be hard and unpleasant to take care of them. The second most important question is about where are you going to keep them and how much space do you have available? Guinea pigs love to run, jump and play, so it's important to provide them with a spacious cage that allows them to move around comfortably. The recommended cage size for two guinea pigs is at least 24 by 36 inches. However, for more than two guinea pigs, the cage should be larger. For instance, a cage of four guinea pigs should be around 15 square feet. When you set up your guinea pig space, it's important to provide them with a calm and quiet place in a room that is big enough. You also need to consider a place to store all their supplies, the cleaning tools, and where you are going to dispose of the sole bedding, whether it's fleece or wood chips. The room must also have proper ventilation and consistent temperature. Guinea pigs are most comfortable when the ambient temperature is kept between 18 and 24 Celsius or 65 to 75 Fahrenheit. Temperature above 29 Celsius or 85 Fahrenheit could lead to a heat stroke. A fun fact about guinea pigs is that they cannot sweat like humans to regulate their body temperature. Because of this, they will drink more water during the hot summer days. The last important thing that not every pet store will tell you but every poor guinea pig owner knows is that cage cleaning is very important. It is recommended to clean the cage thoroughly once a week and do some quick cleaning every day depending on how many guinea pigs you have and how big the cage is. Now that you know you have enough space to build a big cage and they won't make you feel sick, here is a quick list of questions that you need to ask yourself before bringing them home. Are you willing to have two or more guinea pigs? Although some guinea pigs owner only have one for various reasons, it is strongly recommended, if not mandatory, to start with two or more. Most rescue shelters and even good pet store won't let you get only one if you don't already have some at home. The fact is that guinea pigs are social animals and they don't have WhatsApp or Snapchat to talk to each other. They feel less stressed and happier when they live together. Also, in some European countries, it is illegal to have only one guinea pig at home. Are you willing to take care of them every day? Talking to your guinea pig and petting them every day is very important to build a strong bond with you and to make sure they are doing well. Unlike other pets, neglecting your guinea pigs for just only one day can have serious consequences on their life. As a matter of fact, a guinea pig that is not eating for 24 hours is in serious life-threatening situation. Therefore, by petting and visually checking them daily, you can quickly detect signs of illness. Are you able to have someone who will take care of them if you are away? Guinea pigs need more than a large pile of hay and water to survive. Even if you leave them with a substantial amount of veggies, they will consume it rapidly. Leaving your guinea pig alone for more than 24 hours can be extremely dangerous. If you have to travel for more than one day, you will need to find a pet sitter for them. I remember the first year we had our guinea pigs and we had a trip planned to Disney World. Unfortunately, we were not able to bring them with us. The cost of providing good care for four guinea pigs for one week was almost the same as the price of a hotel room at the resort. Are you ready to spend a significant amount of money to save a sick guinea pig? Guinea pigs are exotic animals and they require an exotic pet veterinarian to take care of them when they don't feel well. Not every veterinarian can treat them and when they do, they can charge you two or three times the price of a regular pet. 
Not having access to a vet or not having enough savings to help your pet can be morally very difficult. Can you manage their food and medical budget? Guinea pigs can be inexpensive to acquire and not too costly to start with. But you need to consider the high maintenance costs. Not only do guinea pigs need a large amount of fresh hay, but new owners must also take into account the cost of pellets, fresh vegetables and save some money for rainy days. On a weekly basis, having four guinea pigs is like having an additional person at home on the grocery bill. Correct me if I'm wrong and let me know how much it costs to feed your guinea pigs weekly. Are you prepared to commit for 5 to 8 years? Most guinea pigs live around 4 to 6 years and possibly longer with good health care. Thus, before getting guinea pigs, you should consider whether you can commit and maintain a stable lifestyle for the next 5 to 8 years. Now that you know what it's like to have guinea pigs as pets, you might wonder where you can get them. Before getting new guinea pigs, always ask yourself where are you going to get them from? Many people acquire them from a pet store or receive one as a gift and realize that it's not for them. As a result, many animal rescue centers are overwhelmed with available guinea pigs. It is always recommended to adopt guinea pigs to give them a second chance and to help your local rescue shelter. Some pet stores do not provide the essential condition for their safety. Also, they won't tell you the real origin of the guinea pigs because they either don't know or they don't want you to know that they are dealing with illegal breeders. Some say that guinea pigs from store are more likely to have disease or infection, but this can also be true if they come from a shelter. The fact is that guinea pigs are really good at hiding any form of illness, and when they are sick, they can pass away within a few days without proper medical care. If you really need to get one from a breeder or a pet store, take your time to ask them questions about the origin and how they have care for them. Unlike cats and dogs, guinea pigs cannot effectively care for themselves. They cannot survive in the wild and are unable to escape dangerous situations. Unlike fish or lizards in a tank, guinea pigs require constant care. Given these considerations, do you still believe that they are starter pets that children can manage without supervision? If you are able to commit, budget properly and are ready to provide proper care, then in my humble opinion, you will have the best companions ever. Because you want to become an amazing guinea pig owner, I've got you covered with a video about how to keep your pet healthy and happy. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to share this information with current or future guinea pig owners. Thank you for watching.